I am the famous American. I have a topic that's a little bit unusual compared to the sort of thing that we usually talk about on this channel. But this is an epiphany I had. This is a conversation I had with my wife recently. I think it's worth talking about because I feel no one really talks about this. If they do, it's such a negative perspective that they have. So I want to talk about this from just a realistic perspective. Now, what I'm about to share with you, I'm not necessarily saying I agree and it should be this way and this is good. I'm saying it exists. I'm saying it exists, not necessarily that I agree that it should be this way. So here we go. When it comes to, at least here in the United States, and maybe we could say more developed countries that embrace Christianity, I'm going to give some examples. In addition to the United States, I'd throw Australia in there. I would even throw South Korea in there, a place I've, I've traveled to. Here's a pattern that I see with churches in more developed countries, Christian churches, is that ultimately, as a pastor, it appears that you have to run them as a business specifically an entertainment business. So again, I'm not being cynical. I'm being very direct and straightforward. And just, this is, this is what I see and this is what I perceive throughout my 41 years now here on this planet, living in the United States. So what I perceive is for churches, especially American churches, if your church does not have good entertainment value, you're not going to be able to grow that church. Again, I'm not saying it should be that way. I'm saying it is that way. So what do I mean by that? Entertainment value. If you were a pastor of a church, you think, hey, I, I feel like I should do God's work and start a church and, and grow this thing and do great things for God and his people. Well, what that means is you've got to have a music program to start. The people on the stage, you got to start the show. You got to get people into it. And it's got to be music that connects with your demographic of people. And then also, of course, the pastor of the church doing most of the speaking every Sunday. You got to be interesting. I mean, yes, you need to be able to teach the material, but you have to be engaging and entertaining so that people will want to listen to you after they have been exposed to music that drew them in. And then what about the classes? What about, you know, any kind of, as we usually call Sunday school class or small group, you've got to have, that's also got to be engaging too. You've got to delegate and manage that. Not to mention the kids. Where are the kids going to go? You can't have the kids in the service, so you've got to have a program that is going to draw in children and make them want to show up. Like the church I go to for my kids, there's this whole program where if you show up and bring your Bible and memorize the verse for that month, for that week, then they give you these tokens, which you can cash in for a big prize later on or just a small prize. They love it. It's engaging. It's entertaining. And it's like a business. So I'm saying that's here in the United States. What I perceive is if you want to be a healthy, growing church. And of course, too, there's the tithing that takes place, right? You know, minimum 10%. Now, I'm not saying this to brag. I'm just telling you as a Christian... That's what our household does. Now, where does that money go? Well, it helps pay the staff, right? It's not just the pastor. There's other people that run this business ultimately. And of course, a lot of that money goes to help people overseas, help people in our town, in our county, in our state, helping others. A lot of businesses do that though, don't they? They, they give away and they invest. So very interesting. Now, we can even throw psychology in because a lot of churches have support groups for people that will even draw people from outside the church because it gives them a free support group that they wouldn't have uh, otherwise. So I think that's interesting. But ultimately, it seems like as a pastor of a church in a developed country, largely you have to run it like an entertainment business. And that's what makes it healthy. Now, I've spent plenty of time overseas across other stuff. So I, Two summers I, I lived in Thailand and I taught at a Christian school there in Thailand. They taught English classes to bring in people who actually weren't part of the church and I helped teach some of those classes for free. But uh, what I've noticed about the actual church that they also had there at the school on Sundays was it was a lot different compared to churches here. I mean, it was definitely smaller, but it was much more basic. Uh, 
it was more of this small group setting where everyone was just in one room and they yes sang a couple songs with one guy with a guitar and that was the music and the pastor was just sitting on the floor with everybody else and he would it was more like a bible study you know so see that's easier to digest isn't it that concept but fate would have it when you have a bigger crowd and you've got again more money behind it i think it sort of exaggerates that entertainment value but again you still have to run it like a business you're still paying for the building or or for the leasing of it granted the congregations bring in the money but it's another thing that makes me think about this running like a business thing if a pastor ends up leaving what do you have to do you have to get a committee together and then they have to you know do the whole job search thing and people have to interview for this thing so not only are there the expenses and the entertainment value of and structure and all of this but ultimately yeah there's an actual building and there's expenses and there's salaries and then there's all this stuff to consider so there you go i made this video i've always wanted to talk about that that my perception is to be a pastor of a church and, and and to you know i hate to use the word to be successful at it you have to run it as an entertainment business keep in mind i'm not making this video from a negative perspective I, what I don't want is a bunch of people bashing churches and saying how bad churches are. No, I'm saying this is the setup. If, if, this is, if I'm wrong about this, I, I'd, I'd want to know. But ultimately, in my experience, I haven't seen healthy growing churches who were able to get away from treating it as an entertainment business that happens to be coming from a good place, but still it really resembles an entertainment business at the end of the day. What are your thoughts? Let's talk about it right here.